Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters, I greet you in the name of Jesus. My names are Pastor Magdalene Emily Tanoi. I thank God for this opportunity to give me this good day, this night, yes, to preach the word of Lord, to minister the word of Lord about forgiveness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I want just to thank Lord and say thank you for everything. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Jehovah Jireh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father in heaven. You made the heaven and earth. Father, Lord, is the work of your hands. We thank you for everything what you have been doing for us and what you're going to do for us. Father, Lord, what you have not done for us, we say thank you in the name of Jesus because, Lord, you have done it already. Father, Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, for me too and my family. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I pray, Jehovah, for this ministering your word. Father, Lord, I cover it with the blood of Jesus. No weapon for enemy shall prosper in this preaching. Father, Lord, may your children, your servants, the children of God, to hear about this message, because it's a powerful message for forgiveness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, I pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Daddy, be in control. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, my sisters and my brothers, the way I say my names are Sister Magdalene. The Lord have made it again. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So today, we are going to read the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew 6, 14 to 15. The book of Matthew 6, 14 to 15. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm going today to minister about the word of Lord, about forgiveness. The Lord have allowed me to minister that word again because I always preach about forgiveness. And uh, I do it again today because the Lord have made it. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, my sisters and my brothers. So, I know we have opened it together, the book of Matthew 6, 14 to 15. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. I read, if you forgive others the wrong they have done to you, your Father in heaven will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive the wrong you have done. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I read it again so that we can understand clearly. Amen. We have enough time. Hallelujah. Amen. I read in Jesus' name the book of Matthew 6, 14 to 15. I read in the name of Jesus. If you forgive others the wrong they have done to you, your Father in heaven will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, and then your father will not forgive you the wrong you have done. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. We are reading from the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not just me, I'm the one to decide to say that. And I know many, many, many brothers and sisters, they know that. Forgiveness is not easy that way how we think. And it is not hard how we think. By the grace of God, Jesus is Lord. We can do everything. Yes, because Jesus is Lord. First of all, I like this uh, message of Lord, forgiveness, because I remember that time I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I couldn't. I couldn't know how to do to, to, to receive to receive Jesus. Hallelujah. I couldn't know what to do because for me it was very difficult. Those times I was in the world, it was so difficult for me. And I was crying for Jesus that night in 209. 
I cry for Jesus and say, oh, Papa, I am so scared. I can't. I can't even kneel in front of you because I am dirty. And the Lord Jesus Christ tell me, my daughter, come. I forgive you your sins. It be big sin or a little sin. Sin is sin. He's going to forgive me. I wonder. I say, wow. And that's why I always preach about forgiveness. Because Jesus forgive me my sins. And the time he forgive me my sins, I gave my life to Jesus Christ. And I'm asking you today, my brother and my sister. Because Jesus forgive us, we too we have to forgive. Hallelujah. Amen. If I don't forgive you and you don't forgive me, how can we live? Example. A family people, married people with children in the house. If they quarrel together, the wife and the husband, and they don't forgive themselves, how can they live? They cannot live together because there is no forgiveness. And the Lord said that if you forgive the people who do something wrong to you, and me too, I will forgive you. And we know that when Jesus Christ forgives us, we are free. You see? So, but before we go to ask for Jesus for forgiveness, we have to forgive each other. I have to forgive you. You have to forgive me. And you like it or not, we have to do that. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to do that because if you don't forgive me, and I don't forgive you. Our Father in heaven, he said that he will not forgive us. But if we forgive each other, our Father in heaven said that he's going to forgive us. When you forgive me, he's going to forgive you. When I forgive you, he's going to forgive me. But when we don't forgive each other, he's not going to forgive us. How can Jesus forgive me when I don't forgive you? Jesus suffered in the cross for me and you to forgive each other. But we, we cannot forgive each other. Sisters and brothers, let us learn to forgive each other. Learn to forgive your husband. Learn to forgive your wife. Learn to forgive your children. Learn to forgive your Christian sisters. Learn to forgive your Christian brothers. And learn to forgive your neighbors. Learn even to forgive other people who you don't know them, who they have done wrong to you. Because the Lord say, others who have done wrong to you. When you don't forgive them, the Lord is not going to forgive you. So that means, it's not only in your own house. It's not only your husband. It's not only your wife. It's not only your children. We have to forgive each other. You have to forgive me. And I have to forgive you in the name of Jesus. And when we forgive each other, our Father in heaven will forgive us too. And we are going to be in peace. First of all, you forgive me. I forgive you. And then we ask the Lord to forgive us. We repent. We humble ourselves with Jehovah to forgive us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And I thank God for this because God gave his only lovely son, only his lovely son, to come in this world, to die for us. He suffered. He died on the cross because of sinners. To forgive themselves because of sick, to be healed, because of the lost one, to get the way. Because of everybody. Jesus died for everybody. So we have to forgive each other. Even though it's so painful, even if it's too pain, we have to forgive each other because if we don't forgive each other, Papa will not forgive us. Our Father in heaven will not forgive us. And when our Father in heaven will not forgive us, and then we cannot make heaven because we don't forgive. So we are, not, we are no longer the children of, 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 our Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to learn to forgive each other. And it doesn't matter what is it. Sometimes people ask questions and say, how can I forgive somebody who do this and this and this to me? He do wicked. What will you do? Another person will come again, will do something more worse than the other one. You say you know forgive. Another one will come in so terrible. 
You say again you don't forgive. You won't, go, you won't forgive, you won't forgive. We have to learn to forgive. Because our father said that if we don't forgive, he's not going to forgive us. If you don't forgive me, he's not going to forgive you. So my sister, my brother, it is the time for ourselves to forgive each other. It is the time for ourselves to repent, to pray God, to forgive us our sins, to forgive us because we have done wrong. God to give us mercy, to have mercy for us, to learn how to forgive, because just like that you cannot forgive us. It's not easy. So you have to pray and pray and ask Lord and remember that time Jesus Christ was crossed. Jesus Christ died in Calvary. He was beaten. He was crossed. He died. But the third day, he woke up again. He raised up again. When they were beating Jesus, it was so painful because of me. Because of me and you. Ask to forgive ourselves. Jesus Christ suffered because of his children so that we don't go to hell so that we make heaven. So that we go to Jesus. Jesus like humble people. Jesus like good children. Jesus like children who they humble themselves, they forgive. If you don't forgive, he say, I will not forgive you. That means he will not need you again. For what? Yes? Forgiveness comes from Jesus. When you kneel down and pray and ask for mercy, ask Jehovah to help you, to power you and to fulfill you with the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, you will forgive because you will think for that day how he suffered carrying the cross, moving, falling down, moving, Falling down and waking up, moving, painful. Even me and you, we cannot carry a cross. Only Jesus carried that cross. He carried our old problems. He carried sickness. He carried problems. Everything. Me and you, we cannot do it. But now, because Jesus died in the cross because of me and you. We have to forgive each other and we have to love each other. We like it or not, we have to forgive each other. Let me tell you, you like it or not, you have to do it. Because if you want to make heaven and you want to see Jesus, Jesus wants somebody who is clean, who will forgive her sister, will forgive his brother, and you are clean. You have washed the sins. And you forgive your sister. You forgive your brother because the time you quarrel together, you have problems together. Everybody has a lot of pains in his heart. A lot of pains. It was painful. Another one said, no, I will not forgive you. I will not forgive you. Oh, it's better I die instead of forgiving this one. Oh, another one said, me, I will not forgive you. Even if Jesus comes back, I will not forgive you. No, you have to forgive. Hey, you have to forgive. You have to forgive. If you are a child of Christ, you have to forgive. And even if you are not a child of Christ, you have also to forgive. But mostly Christians, we have to forgive. Because Christians, they are even the people who they don't want to forgive. When you go to the church, you will see neighbor and neighbor. They don't sit together. They don't worship together. They cannot even greet themselves in the house of God. You are inside in the temple of God. And you are calling yourself a child of God. You don't greet your sister. You don't greet your, 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 your brother. Or even the wife. And the husband, they are coming from the same house. In the church, when they don't greet themselves, the husband goes sit there, the wife goes sit there. Uh -huh. Because of forgiveness, we have to learn to forgive each other. We like it or not, we have to forgive each other. You will see family, they enter in the church. Mom and dad and children, they don't talk. The daughter is worshipping. The son is an usher. Mom is a prayer warrior. Father is a pastor. But they don't talk in the house. You have to talk together, kneel down, humble yourself, command the devil to go and start to forgive each other and to obey God, obey Jesus, forgive. Because even Jesus, he said that last day, my father, forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. Yes. So we have to forgive each other and love each other and love our Father in heaven, and to humble ourselves, mostly Christians, so when we come together and gather ourselves together to pray, intercessors, prayer warriors, to worship Lord, to, to, to pray in the church, and, 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 and 
Even when we give our offerings to God, He appreciates it because we are clean, we are forgive ourselves. That is it, my brother, my sister. Let us forgive each other because forgiveness is good. Yes. God bless you. Jesus loves you and Jesus loves me too. I will be back. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.